everyone. So my name is Sarah and I am a new to the booktube world. Well, kind of new. I've been a long time lurker as a commenter slash video watcher. I've just never really been able to participate in a lot of things or thought to do my own channel. I didn't think I read enough to warrant it. And I also didn't quite think I had the time. And then, you know, I finished my grad program and, you know, the world's kind of, the world's kind of at a standstill. So I thought now feels like the perfect time to start a channel and learn to edit and read a lot. So that's what I decided to do. Um, like a huge part of that goes to being involved in and participating in the Royal Weekender for the bookie trials that Rachel hosted. And I had so much fun doing it and everyone was so incredibly welcoming. I loved being a part of like the teams. I loved being able to read. I loved being surrounded by people who enjoy reading as much as I do. And it was just so incredibly great that it kind of gave me the push I needed to at least try you know I don't know for sure how often I'll post on here um, it kind of is gonna depend on different things but I am excited to actually try and have something a little bit more creative to work on um, and put out there than just sitting around all the time waiting for the world to kind of come back so I thought I would start my channel by doing kind of like a wrap-up for my Royal Weekender. So the Royal Weekender was uh, a bookie quest like weekend that Rachel put on that was March 28th and 29th and I participated in it for the first time. It was my first bookie trials event and I had so much fun. I am part of the Outlaws so I loved it. I loved my team. Every, like I, Everyone was just so nice and kind and welcoming. That's the reason I want to continue to be involved. I just I just loved everybody so much. They were so great that I wanted to be a part of that community a little bit more. Um, and so that's why I decided to actually try the Royal Weekender, which is a 48 hour readathon and there are different prompts you're supposed to fill. Now I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to complete them because I also had a writer's weekend with one of my friends, obviously virtually. And um, so I was doing a lot, a lot of solitary activities for this weekend, but I did, I got a lot done, so that's great. So there were four badges that everybody could get, and they were Oathmaker, which was to share your TBR, the Tournament Ready, which was to join a competition, um, there was Power Surge, which was to complete a which was to complete a two-hour reading sprint, and then a Tome Champion, which was to complete a book. And um, there were also four badges that each class had to do. And so like I said at the beginning, I was part of the outlaw, I'm part of the outlaws. And so the four ones that we had to do was a Tomb Raider, which was to reread a favorite, your sharpen your weapons, which was to play a game, the Band of Misfits, which was to read a book with multiple points of view, and the Natural Survivor Survivors, which was to, to read a book that had mud, plants, or trees on the cover. So there were eight total badges I could get, and I did Oathmaker, which is I shared my TBR on the Discord, and the books I chose to read were Every Heart a Doorway, and um, this collection of John Keats poems and letters to Fanny, um, which is, I love this, I love this collection so much. Tournament Ready, which is joining competitions, there was a scavenger hunt, which was to find the elven princess, and you had to post different book covers that followed those prompts. So I did that one. I also did the author archery competition, which was incredibly fun, where basically you got like three different, you got three different um, clues or hints for each author, and then you had to guess which one you thought it was. And it was just really clever. I loved it. And then I also participated in the masquerade ball. That was the final event where you had to, it was kind of like a 20 questions where you had to guess who they were talking to. Oh man, I did not do, I did not do so well on that one. <laughs> I have to admit. My problem was, I was just like, I would have in my head like, oh, I think it might be this person. So I would like go ahead and be like, click and see who was on there. And then 
But the person I thought it might be wouldn't be on the list, so I would just pick whoever I thought was closest and be like, and they were like, oh, I'm sorry, that's not correct. And I'd be like, well, I could have waited until the, I could have waited until they finished, you know, asking questions, but I couldn't. I was too impatient. Um, but I did get that badge. I also, the power surge was to complete a two hour reading sprint, and I actually participated in two of those, and they were ironically both the demonic friends ones and on discord where the general idea was to um like send an animal emoji anytime your book or whatever you were reading mentioned an animal of some sort i did not have many animals in my book at first i thought maybe i would because i was reading every heart of doorway but then they just kind of stopped and so at some point i think i sent like that a skeleton. I'm like, there's no mention of animals, but there's a ton of mentions of skeleton and bones. So I just want to participate. <laughs> um, so I did that. And then obviously I did do the Tome Champion, which was I completed a book. I actually completed two books. There were also four badges that outlaws could get, and each class had four different badges to do. And um, the first one was the Sharpened Weapons badge, which was to play a game. And it was part of the self-care badges that Rachel included for this um, readathon, just as a reminder to like take a break, take a step back, like make sure that you're still caring for yourself, which I thought was really, really awesome. And the game I ended up playing was The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I've been playing it for a while, love it, love Geralt, love Siri even more. And I can probably summarize my gameplay so far as. I only care about my daughter. <laughs> um, the other one was a Tomb Raider badge, which was to reread a favorite, and I ended, and that's the one I chose for this John Keats collection. I love John Keats so much. He's one of my favorite poets and authors, and I specifically chose this one because it is like pretty, pretty thin. Because, um, like I said, I had a writer's weekend as well, and so at the very least, I wanted to make sure I could finish one book and I knew that I could finish this one in one city because it is just letters and poetry um so I got that one done and so this was actually my tome champion and tomb raider um badges I completed with this book and the other book I read was actually every heart a doorway that Rachel suggested in her um in her recommendations video for the Royal Weekender. It's been, it was a book that I, it was been on my list for a while. I just never really had a chance to read it. Um, and so I was excited to give it a shot. And that fit both my Band of Misfits, multiple points of view badge and my natural survivors with mud, plant or trees on the cover badge. Um, and I, you know, it was pretty good. I did like it. I think, I think for me, there was like the premise was so big that I, I kind of wanted it to be a little bit more, but that might just be me being greedy and I just wanted more in this world. Um, so I'm probably going to continue on with that series. Yeah, so that was, those were the badges and the books that I read for the Royal Weekender, and I just can't say enough how much fun I had. I want to thank Rachel and everybody else who put that together. Um, uh, like I like I said, I just kind of wanted to put this video out there and just kind of introduce myself a little bit because I just so enjoyed meeting everybody and like being a part of this community and that's the main reason why I wanted to start this channel is just to have a way to continue to be involved and to continue to like meet and support other people. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing an Owls TBR as well because that is the next readathon that I'm participating in. If you guys have any other readathons that you're doing or particularly if they're longer readathons like please like link me below like drop me a comment below because I am finally able and to like participate in this stuff um kind of like I said at the beginning I was in a master's program and graduated back in December that was two and a half years and I work full-time right now is a little sketchy <laughs> of what I'm doing and so I just never had the time to read anything outside of what I was required to read for my program because I went for creative writing. I'm really excited to kind of get back into reading for fun um, and so I'm really excited to join but um, I've kind of got to finish Goblet of Fire first and I am only like 250 pages into that and I only have a couple of days to finish it before April. So it's like two days. 
but I still have the rest of today. It's gonna be a long day. It's gonna be a long couple of days before April starts. Thank you everyone for watching and for welcoming me into the Royal Weekender and the Bookie Trials. I can't wait to see you all in July if I don't see you guys sooner.